Welcome to Dr. Robert Bard's 2017 Symposium on the Use of Ultrasound Technology of Dermal and Subcutaneous Disorders. Our advanced digital ultrasound technology to scan and screen cancer malignant tumors is used worldwide by every country. The bulk of this presentation originated from Europe where this new technology has been invented. Here we can identify the tumor is black under ultrasound. The important thing about this basal cell is that you can see the depth which makes the difference between a 5 minute excision or a 5 hour Mohs surgery. This helps the surgeon preoperatively to determine how deep it is and also sometimes even how aggressive it is. We can see both the depth and the aggression in this view. The area marked M is the orbicularis muscle of the eye. That's the muscle that opens and closes the eye. The black cancer completely invades the muscle so that this was originally suspected to be a superficial lesion. It's deeper and this requires a major reconstructive surgery. Notice the white dots in the center by the star. This is important because there was really no way preoperatively to tell how aggressive a basal cell is. These white dots are seen in aggressive basal cell cancers and is the kind that may metastasize. Here is another basal cell. Notice the white line in the word cartilage. We were able to tell this patient with a large tumor that the cartilage was spared. So even though you've got a problem, having this quality of imaging helps to know that the problem isn't worse. Here we notice a basal cell that's destroying the cartilage. It's called an hourglass basal cell. The stars show where it started, but then the iceberg goes down and starts invading the cartilage. This is very important to know preoperatively. Cancer radiologists work with different imaging categories to enable detecting this type of cellular activity. Here's an MRI of a basal cell. The yellow arrows point to the tumor and the red arrows point to the feeding vessel. Preoperatively, this is quite useful. This takes half an hour to an hour in a machine and the sonogram takes two to three minutes with the right technology. This patient had a basal cell and developed a mass in the sternum. It was called a keloid, or they weren't sure what it was. On the side view, you could see within the yellow circles where it's eroding through the bone. So as the small basal cell is spreading, the middle section shows you that it shows up on a CT. But again, you could see the same thing at the same time when you're scanning the patient and shows it's a huge recurrence. This also means requiring more than simple surgery.